Hi, I'm Dr. David Bain from the School of Human Kinetics and Recreation at Memorial University of Newfoundland. We've been conducting a number of studies using the TheraBand Rotor Massager. The Rotor Massager is a device, a convenient and portable device, that acts as a self-myofascial release device. In addition to going to a massage therapist where you might want to try to uh, relieve adhesions, uh, increase range of motion, it's not always possible to get to a massage therapist. So for those occasions when a massage therapist is not available, then the rotor massager is a convenient device in order to um, provide some of those benefits. The rotor device in our experiments have been used in all lower limb muscles, quadriceps, hamstrings, and uh, plantar flexures or, or shank muscles. We've, done, we've performed three experiments to date. In one experiment, we had the rotor massager being used for five to 10 seconds. In five to 10 seconds of use, we found increases between four and six percent in the, in the range of motion. There is no subsequent detriments in performance. In another study, we used the rotor massager for 20 seconds and 60 seconds. We changed the duration. And what we found was that with 20 and 60 seconds of rotor massager use, we found even greater increases in range of motion. Now we found increases between 10 and 16 percent. Again, there is no detriment in performance. A third study that we performed was on the dorsiflexors, and we used the, uh, the rotor massager for three sets of 10 seconds each. I'm sorry, three sets of 30 seconds each. And in this uh, uh, experiment, we found increases of less than 10% in the increase in range of motion, but in this case, we actually found a subsequent increase in force. So this device can improve the range of motion. We know from our studies at Memorial University that static stretching, which was universally used as a warm-up uh, procedure, typically causes detriments in performance. The rotor massager can be used as a warm-up device because it does improve range of motion without causing any detriments in performance, and in some cases, perhaps even an increase in performance. We've used it at different intensities. In the first study, we used 13 kilograms as a uniform amount of, of uh, pressure on the muscle. In the second study, we used a relative amount, 25% of the body mass, which for the average subject in that study would have equaled about 21 kilograms. And no matter the duration or the um, intensity, we've always found increases in range of motion without impairments in subsequent performance. To ensure that the, um, the experiments were uniform, we've we created a device called the Constant Pressure Roller Device, as we see here with Dr. Button. And Dr. Button will explain how this device is used. The device was made by Memorial University's Technical Services. And as you can see uh, at this moment, I have my leg inserted into the uh, device. And you can see that there's different uh, plates that we can add on to uh, increase the amount of pressure over somebody's leg. And uh, many times throughout the experiment, or the experiments, we would use a, a metronome in order to uh, um, control the cadence at which we would roll the massage over the person's or the individual's uh, uh, muscle group. So here I'm just going to roll from uh, uh, distal and at my knee to uh, proximal right up to my hip joint and at, at a nice slow cadence. You can see how the roller massager just goes nice, uh, nicely over the muscle at a very uh, nice constant pressure.